What's up, gang? It's your girl, Sid from Savvy Sentience, and welcome to your late, but also right on time, October readings. If you all are new here, hello and welcome. If you are not, welcome back. Regardless of which group you fall in, please make sure that you all do the things like share and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you are looking to book personal readings, you can book at SavvySentience.com, where you will also find spiritual drip and other cool things. So please make sure you take a gander at the site. Again, that's SavvySentient.com. And let's not delay any further because I know that y'all have been patiently waiting for these. Let's get into your reading. All right, Sad. So your channeled message from your spirit team says, Every day is an opportunity. Tomorrow is an opportunity. Don't waste them. You will only get so many. So something that you've been delaying or putting off, such as self-improvement, business, uh, personal growth, or even a relationship, um, it's not necessary for you to put it off, okay? Delaying and pushing it back is not going to serve you, all right? Currently, you have Jupiter in Taurus, and you will for the next year, which means that this next year is a very auspicious time for you as far as romance and finances uh, go. Also, in your pre-pull, you have the Three of Wands in the reverse, the Four of Wands, and the Judgment card. So what I'm getting from this is that there is a blockage being removed from your life and you're going to have many reasons to celebrate you're going to be um, experiencing some renewal in your life and some uh, rebirth so with that being said let's get into your tarot with your overall energy being the hermit card which is a card of introspection and soul searching and at the bottom of the deck you have the death card, which is a card of rebirth. So that's just uh, confirming that you're definitely about to go through a period of rebirth or you are currently going through a period of uh, rebirth with this Phoenix energy on the death card, okay? So in your current situation, we have the two of pentacles. We have the five of pentacles. We have the five of wands in the reverse and it's being clarified by the knight of cups so what i get from this uh from your current situation is that you are trying to prioritize the things in your life that are most important there are certain things that you would like to give more energy and time to, but you feel like your resources are limited with the Five of Pentacles. Uh, you are suffering from lack mentality or lack energy, feeling like you just don't have enough. And because of this, you are feeling that you want to kind of put something down right now or walk away from something or give up on something with the five of wands in the reverse um and being clarified by the knight of cups this specific knight in this deck um always gives me walking away vibes like he's um riding out like he looks like he's moving away from you um so what i'm feeling with this is you're feeling like um Maybe another time would be more opportune for you to invest in either a business, a job, some type of a creative endeavor, or even a relationship. You're feeling like maybe a better time would be uh, when you are more stable and have more money. So what's crossing you right now or um, the energy that you're feeling that may be conflicting you is the fool in the reverse with the lovers. So you may have started something new with the fool, but you're not feeling very optimistic about it. And with the lovers card, you're feeling like maybe this is not the correct timing. This is not uh, an alignment for you right now because you don't feel like you have sufficient resources to be able to do the thing to the best of your potential so again you're kind of feeling like you would like to maybe put it down or come back to it at another time um with the three of cups 
this is the reunion energy. Okay. The four of pentacles in the tower. What I'm getting from that though is that you need to stay put, like continue on the path that you're on, keep doing what you're doing. Otherwise, uh, there's going to be a tower moment. Now, hmm. Yeah, I'm really getting the energy of stay the course and that this tower could be good or bad. So if you give up on this now, I feel like you're going to stagnate, that things are not going to progress. Uh, however, if you continue to push through in spite of the lack mentality, in spite of feeling like you're not enough or that you don't have enough, there's going to be some type of breakthrough with the tower energy, okay? Some type of upheaval or change that is unexpected with this tower energy. If you uh, give up on this though, the conclusion is the sun in the reverse, a lack of clarity. When there is no sun, nothing grows, which brings me to the Empress, which is supposed to be a card of abundance and growth and fertility. But when she's in the reverse, she's doing none of the things. All right. And then finally, the Eight of Wands, which again is that stagnant energy, a lack of progress, a lack of growth. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands, which is a card of expansion and growth. So this is where you want to be. This is what you want to see happen. But if you decide to give up at this point, you're not gonna see that expansion and growth. So even though things are hard, even though resources are limited, even though it doesn't seem like this is the greatest time for you, being that you are a Sagittarius, being that you're um, in Taurus, was it? A really opportune, Jupiter is in Taurus, it's a really opportune time for you. Um, and luck is definitely favoring you right now. So definitely just stay the course, okay? I don't wanna be rambling, but I just can't emphasize that enough to you that this is not the time to give up. Stay the course. Luck is favoring you now. Okay, um, for those of you all that this may be a relationship, even if it's a platonic or business relationship, I'm gonna pull some um, oracles. So we're gonna start with the lover's oracle and what's going on in this situation, spirit. Mm. And it says, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So if you are in some type of, um, mm, okay, for some of you all, you are in an actual relationship and this could be a business relationship, but you all are pointing fingers at each other. And I feel like you're pointing out each other's flaws or like playing the blame game and that's not gonna help you. That's not gonna help you right now. So if this is a business relationship, um, the healthy thing to do would be to, two of pinnacles, prioritize what's important. If this is not a business relationship, even if it's romantic, um, again, prioritize what's important. Ego is not important here. Figuring out, you know, who's at fault for whatever is not what's important here. Five of Wands with the Knight of Cups energy. Put down your swords. Stop fighting. It's not helping. Keys on a ring, many options. There are many options for you and for your growth. And I feel like if finances are an issue for you right now, that there are other options. There are other ways to acquire finances or there are ways that you can get done what you need to get done with limited finances. 
So the keys on the ring is saying many options, decisions, unconventional. You may have to find unconditional ways to get done what you need to get done. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning and unsure of the future. Yeah, with that um, lovers in the reverse and the fool in the reverse, like I said, you may feel like now is not the right time. If this is a relationship, you may have separated based on your finances or based on their finances and their lack, you know, them feeling like it's not enough. It's not enough money. It's not enough resources to properly date you, to properly take care of you. And what's the last card? Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Girl talk. So some of you all may have actually gone through a separation because of finances. And it may seem to you that either the person that you were dealing with has moved on and is happily single, or that's what you're trying to portray. At the bottom of the deck though, we have the hand of cards. Take a chance, risk of being strategic, options, not showing your hands and gambling. So some of you all may want this person back and you're needing to take a risk, take a chance, go out on a limb and try to get them back. <laughs> okay, so underneath the three of wands, which is the expansion, the growth, travel, there's the ace of wands, a new passionate beginning. So yeah, definitely if you put something or someone down, it is not too late to recover it, to retrieve it. In fact, I get the energy of you needing to. Like you doing this thing or you having this business partnership or you being with this person is going to bring you the expansion. It's going to bring you the growth. With the Ace of Wands also representing doors opening, new beginnings. Like it's the union with this thing or with this person that brings about the expansion. You don't have to do it by yourself. Knight of Wands is underneath that. So a lot of fire energy, a lot of passionate energy, a lot of energy that's saying go, do it, push forward. You may have to get creative to make things work. You may have to think outside of the box and do things that are unconventional. But whatever this is that you're separated from, you're supposed to be together with <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and get your monology message monology what message do we have for Sagittarius? what message do we have bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius so set the intention of love be very intentional about uh, mutual respect and understanding when it comes to this situation. If this is a renewal of something, if this is a reunion, go into this new cycle with compassion, with love, with understanding of uh, who this person or who this opportunity is. The energy is gaining momentum once you do that. The energy gains momentum. I'm getting, um, I don't know if y'all have been on my channel, you know that my lover's card is usually associated with the song Movement by Myself, Force When We're Together. Baby, I'm good all by myself, but baby, you, you make me better. Whatever you're separated from, you are better with, okay? Together, the energy gains momentum. I'm a movement by myself 
and I'm a force when we're together. All right, so three cards popped out. I wasn't gonna take three more cards, but meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces. All right, so this is a card of spirituality, being that Pisces is a very spiritual sign, and uh, the new moon is a time of intention. So being spiritually aligned with this situation, is going to serve you. Your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. So <laughs> basically spiritual, spiritual alignment as well as practical alignment is going to put you where you need to be to uh, successfully execute your plan and nothing yet is set in stone. So if you don't like the way that things are going, you have the ability to change it, okay? So let's get your advice. What is the advice for Sagittarius? What is the advice? Mm. Mm. And the death is still at the bottom of the deck. So again, this is gonna be a time of transformation. We have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Mm. The fly in here. <laughs> a gnat, okay. Um, Ace of Cups in the reverse with the Mother of Cups. Okay, so it's time to heal what is unhealed. It is time to heal what is broken. It is time to restore, okay, with the Devil card. <laughs> so for some of you all, the Devil card, I get this is a relationship. Um, the Devil card can represent like obsession and passion and all of that so for some of you all it's a time to get back to more passionate and loving times um for others if this is business or um, some other opportunity this represents going hard and once you um restore what has been broken spirit is saying go hard go hard okay so Let's get your postcard from Spirit. And your postcard from Spirit goes as follows. It says, dearest you, we are a chatty bunch over here, always talking about how to support you in your life's journey. We communicate to you through the language of oracles, dreams, signs, metaphors, and omens. In your life on earth, however, clarity in your communication is essential to being understood. You don't speak in symbols, and if you did, you would definitely confuse things. Right now, you're facing a situation in which you're being asked to have integrity, be clear, and learn how to ask for your needs to be met. The first step is to admit out loud that you have needs. The second is to ask out loud for them to be met, and the third is to allow the other person, organization, or even us to answer you. When you follow these steps, you can most definitely expect an answer in your favor, affirmative we say, loving you so very much. Okay, so whatever this is that you're separated from, I feel like when you reconcile, there has to be a conversation about what it is that you need, what it is that you require, and how this person, organization, business partner can assist you. And to also see you know, what it is that they want, what they need, and how you can be um, reciprocal in that energy, okay? So I feel like you have been feeling like everything had to be on you, you had to get everything done yourself, when it really could have been a team effort from the beginning, when it could have really been a balanced partnership from the beginning with the Two of Pentacles present. But I think you just took on a lot of that on yourself. Um, whether, you know, it was a choice or whether that's just how it went. But um, it's not necessary for you to, to do that. Okay, so yeah, that is your reading. I kind of have this uh, confused energy that I've been feeling through the reading, um, kind of an unsure energy. And I kind of feel like that may be how you're feeling. Like you don't really know what to do 
or how to navigate the situation. And I really just feel like communication is the answer. Open, clear communication and honesty with yourself and with your business partner, with your romantic partner, with the organization that you are dealing with. Yeah. So that's what I got. <laughs> that's the reading. Oh, we're done. Okay. If this resonates for you, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if it resonates a little too much and you need a personal reading, please make sure that you slide on over to SavvyCentians.com and book. Of course, like, share, subscribe. And until the next time that I read for you all, Sag, I'm wishing you all love and light. Now go get right. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.